welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Horizon Zero Dawn. My name is Kelthos, and in the last episode, we spent the all the episode, really, exploring this Maker's Mark place and found out that it's Pharaoh's, Pharaoh Automated Industries, or it was back in the day, before the machines took over, and that they had, for some reason, stopped, they were making green machines and helping the world and stuff, and then they decided to make machines out of weapon, uh, as weapons, and we don't know why, but I assume it's because he just wanted to make money, more money. But she's just trying to figure that out. And we found out that the, that Elizabeth Sobeck is the woman that looks like us. That we thought was maybe our mother. And that she was one of the key engineers in making the green robots. And so we're just trying to figure this all out and um, find out more about her. So in this episode, that's what we're going to do. So here we go. Let's see what else we can find. There's some stairs. <clears throat> Even more stairs. Ooh, what's this over here? More supplies. The air. There's no smell to it. Not even old death. Nothing natural. Oh, well, it must have been all machine made then. If that's what she means. Oh, there's more. That's the way to go down. I don't want to do that yet. I want to check out over here first. Hmm. Oh, another thinger. Reply to a complaint. J. Fred. Fred. Friedkin? Friedkin? Hey, reception, if that is your if that is your real name. Wanna know who scheduled Indo Malay right next to Fresh Grounds? That would be me, Senior VP of Sales. Wanna know why? After that little hair pulling incident, both sides increased their bids by 40%. I'll explain because your receptionist level brain probably requires it. Wow, what a dick. Those two sides are fighting, and what do we sell? That's right, combat machines. We want them to hate each other, so they will try to fight each other with what? That's right, again, combat machines, which they will pay us a lot of money for, so I should suggest you go back to serving coffee with a blank smile and let me do my much more complicated job. Thanks a bunch, Fridkin to you. Wow, what a dick. Another cave in. But I could get through. Indeed you could. But you're not going to just yet because there was something that I wanted to check out over here. <laughs> I, I believe it was over here, right? No, over here. There was nothing. So this was just a whole other place I could go to for no reason. There has to be a reason. Come on. Hmm. I don't see anything. Weird. Okay, let's go back up then. Could have swore there was something there though in my last playthrough. I don't remember though. Hmm. <coughs> 
Whoa. That scared the hell out of me. Whoops. Well, we're not getting back up there. Looks like I can climb here. I could, but I'm gonna see what's over here first. Absolutely. Well, maybe something. I'll bet I can use that as a ramp to get back up. You could. Why are you explaining everything? Oh, this is the way we were, right? Welcome to Feral. Yeah, it was. Okay. Don't care. Already heard it. Okay. Climb up here then. Even more climbing. this more supplies and we're stuck again hmm got to get over there somehow drop to ledge can I jump across here no I cannot and I just freaking fell damn it Oh, over here. I see now. Whoa. Man. We did. That's where we're supposed to go, but we're gonna go. Wait, what? It looks like the way up. What's left okay. of Okay. Before we go up there, we're going to go over here. Because I see another data point, and I want to see what's over here. Hmm. There was two, right? Yeah, there is two. One's over there, one's over here. Hmm. Looks like an old meeting room or conference room, something like that. What is this? FAS campus log. FAS campus security log. High priority alert. Automated log note. All non-essential systems have been inter have entered hibernation. High priority alert. Automated log note. Full lockdown has been initiated. High priority alert. Due to the increasing frequency of violent protests targeting the campus, the security of FAS employees can no longer be guaranteed. Therefore, we have taken the difficult decision to shutter this facility indefinitely. Staff will be briefed on a block-by-block -block basis regarding <laughs> proper procedure for archiving and or disposing of project-related data materials. HiSec Hi and a crisis team will then conduct exit reviews before all areas are locked down. Prior high priority alert. Priority messaging to all staff in E and F blocks. Tret. Tret. The current lockdown situation. Oh, it's supposed to say treat. Treat the current lockdown situation as an exercise, but do not attempt to release the hatches or uh, or otherwise exit the buildings. High priority alert. A reminder that while high sec personnel remain committed to employee safety during the current unfortunate events, personal firearms must be relinquished when represent when presenting for ID identity scan. High priority alert. Additional public access roads in route to campus have now been closed to relieve waiting time at the outer security cor cordons. HiSec reminds all staff that the campus remains off limits to the public. High security alert. Following recent campus security issues, all staff are reminded that presenting for identity scan and displaying your security badge prominently at all times for image and analytics are both mandatory. High priority alert. In light of recent acts of terrorism, Directed at the rapid transit system, HiSec now offers a Big Brother initiative to any 
accompanying staff traveling from off-site. Sign up is required and strongly encouraged. 48 more entries in high priority. Additional entries corrupted. Great. Looks like all hell is going loose. Right at the corporation. They yep. blame this place for something. Something bad. Something real bad, like the end of the world. <laughs> but something must have happened before the end of the world. That they were blaming them on. Or blaming it on. <laughs> Spiritual Summit. Paula. Recent events have sharpened my perspective, and I think that I and FAS in general have been neglecting the spiritual side of things, not under any specific religious framework, of course, but in a more general sense, as in not giving enough thought to our, value, to our shared values, hopes, and aspirations for the afterlife. I'd like you to reach out to religious leaders of every stripe with the intention of scheduling a conference soon, very soon. I'll have more thoughts about the agenda later, but for now, let's put out some feelers and see if we can lock something in. Make it a big tent, no cook, no kooks, but anyone with a credible audience. Let's go deluxe. Make it clear we'll spare no expense. Thanks, Ted. Well, I mean, at least that's nice of him to do. Kind of a d weird way to go about it, but nice of him to do nonetheless. Okay, we were just in here, right? Because that is the campus log, yeah. Okay, we already checked that out. And then this is the room where we found that. Where we just found that, right? Yeah, spiritual summit. Okay, so let's check this out over here. Hollow projector. They're all hollow projectors. Okay. Oh, I guess I gotta go up here to do it. The FSP5 Kopesh provides a one-size-fits-all solution to main battle capability. That's the material death construction trigger. delivers unmatched recoil dampening. Allowing you to field any weapon package that conforms to your budget needs and conflict resolution profile. Patented biomass conversion systems allow extended emergency operations with minimal environmental impact. Multilinear target processing provides simultaneous real time. Why would anybody need that? And much legal review for autonomous power. domestic operations. Or control can be slaved to the swarm's neural network for weapons free force application. Either way, when it's time to call out the big guns, it's time to call Kopesh. Wow. The Deathbringer. So yep. This was the heavy hitter. Main battle force indeed. That's true. Ow, 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 ow. My leg is cramping up. The BOR-7 Horus. Imagine your complete engagement ecosystem comprehensively managed by a high I don't think we've find, we found network. one of these. Whether your need is to replace battlefield losses or intensify force projection, the Horus's onboard manufacturing capabilities mean you'll never get stuck waiting for the next arms delivery. Simply redefine your force parameters, and the Horus will fabricate additional units to fill the ranks for an affordable per unit licensing fee. Meanwhile, the biomass conversion systems of other chariot line models allow them to keep the Horus fueled, repaired, and ready, extending its operational tolerances beyond that of any competing Titan class platform. That's the Horus advantage. Always regulating, always ready. The future of automated warfare made real today. The Metal Devil. Oh, that is the Metal Devil. Okay. Too. Manufacturing capabilities. They can make more of themselves. Then how would you ever stop them? Those are the. Oh, that was the big metal devil that's dead. Okay. The ACA3 scarab combines conventional and information and I think warfare this is capabilities a in one package, designed for high-speed all-terrain reconnaissance. It boasts the world's highest survivability rating of any.
any Scout class autonomous agent. Maybe it's the Scarab's emergency biomass conversion systems that ensure it always makes it back to base, even if fuel supply lines have been interdicted. Or maybe it's the Scarab's ability to slave enemy robots to its own. Or maybe both. Now that's force multiplication. Add a prehensile manipulator arm that can handle a host of functions. From 360 degree less lethal riot management to surgical repairs of allied chariot line models. And you've got the workforce of any cutting edge peacekeeping Wow. The corruptor. Yep. Slave enemy robots to its own network. It sounds like it's talking about how it corrupts machines. It is. Okay, let's go on. Unless there's another room. Nope, that's where we came from. Time to climb up. And over there. Hello? There we go. Wait, no! And up. Did I miss something? Hmm. Nope, I did not. Can I keep climbing up more? A long way up. Frozen metal most of the way. Not making this easy, Dr. Sobek. <laughs> no, certainly not. <clears throat> Although it wasn't destroyed like this when she was alive, in her defense. Plants can find a way to hang on up here. I guess I can too. Indeed. You can. Wait, 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 wait. What? Oh, we're supposed to keep going up, but I want to see what's over here. Hmm. Yeah, we gotta keep going that way, but what's over here? Climb up. Hmm. Another way to get up there, I guess? Where is that? Oh, it's right there. This is the began when they engaged in unauthorized offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts Team or Energy Combine. Now I wish that I could relate that the crisis has been exaggerated, but it's not. The peacekeepers have not responded to stand down coats, and by all signs, they appear to be replicating at a precipitous rate. Yep, and the beginning of the end. I can absolutely assure you is that I am already devoting every possible resource towards reaching a speedy conclusion to this issue. So when you hear the bad talk about us against this company in the days, maybe weeks to come, just bear in mind that we will get past this. And a day's coming when none of this will matter. Well, that was for sure. Peacekeepers. That's what they called their machines. They were built for war, not peace. Exactly. Okay, that looks like the right way, so I'm going to go back down here and see what was over on the other side there, if I didn't keep climbing down. Or climbing up, I mean. Hmm. Oh, shit. Not what I meant to do at all. Jesus Christ. I oh, killed myself. Damn it. There. <laughs> Keep going all the way up. Is 
This is not the right, the same way. I am so confused. Or does it just go lead to the same place? Oh, there's a timer. I guess it does lead to the same place. Weird. Grab that. Getting soaked from melted snow. Indeed you are. is a long way up. Alright, well, uh, uh, that was the timer, so in the next episode we will continue climbing this thing and see what else we can find out about this place and about Elizabeth herself and see where we can go from there. I want to thank you all for watching and if you like what you see I suggest you subscribe to my channel so you can see the new videos I post every single day and if you really like the videos I'd really like it if you could leave a thumbs up and a comment that way I could have some interaction on my channel know that people are actually watching and actually care and if you want to know when I post my videos exactly when I post them the best way to do that is to turn on your notifications as well talk to y'all later bye bye